here's one of my hoot tips is to make this recurring. Instead of making it scheduled, I would make it as a reminder because you don't want it to put in those values because it's going to change every single month. And that's happening on the 13th of every single month. And what I will tend to do here, because I don't want to put in bad numbers that are wrong every single time. So I actually like have this little thing that I do in my mind works for me, it may not work for you, but I'll say to myself, okay, my interest payment, my, my loan was at, you know, 3.9% interest. So I'll put 3.9 here. And then let's 100 minus 3.9 is 96% will go to here. And then I'm adding on an extra payment to principal. And so I will frequently make it look like this as a placeholder to remind myself what my percentages are, or maybe those numbers are going to confuse you. Then you could instead just simply say, okay, my interest is... 3.9%. Whatever is going to jog your memory for what it needs to be is okay to do. You just have to remember that the total on the expense is never going to exactly match if you take this approach. So do what's right for you. That's just a couple quick strategies that you can use to help know what to do on your splits. 